everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a decorative leaf decor for like fall, Christmas, spring. I mean it could be anything really. I did not make a video about it, but I did make like a springy, just like all around year, a year long wreath and I'll show you a picture on the screen. I just used the foam thing that just came in like a packaging because it was holding like a poster together. And I used fake leaves, a bird that like the clip broke off, and a hook, duct tape, hot glue, beads, and that's about it. But for this one, it's going to be fake leaves on a string hung up on a wall. Before we get in this video, please hit that red subscribe button and hit post notifications so you won't miss videos like tutorials, life hacks, DIYs, challenges, and reviews. So let's get into this video. You're going to need hot glue string, tape, and of course, fake plants. Now, these are all my fake plants, and you can even just use flowers, but I'm gonna be using like leaves. So I'm just gonna be picking out all the leaves I'm gonna be using. You might need scissors to cut it, or you can just pull it off. Now you can always use more, but I'm going to be using like uh, just three leaves and this flower thing and a rose, just so it can be springy, Christmas, I don't know. And if you want to make the leaves more decorative, like more fall or just whatever color you want, you can, you can also use paint and beads. So the first thing you're going to do is figure out how you want it to look depending on how much you're going to use if you're going to do like like top bottom middle like more than one string i mean um for me i'm not really sure maybe like probably gonna have this leaf to here and just kind of maybe put them like that i don't know i would I could always use more, but I'm going to be using like a... It's the simple things that change everything, you know? So just something like that. And the leaves, I'm going to do probably like orange, red, just something fall. And I'm going to... And then once that is dried and everything, I'm going to hot glue it to the string. Or you can do it the other way around. And if you want it to be maybe a little sturdier or... Just want to do something different, or if you don't have string, you can always use pipe cleaners, which I'll just probably use a pipe cleaner just to maybe just be a little different. So this is what I'm going to be using. My paint brushes. I decorated a box with my paint brushes in. See, pot glue, paint, scissors, and string or pipe cleaner. So I am first going to probably hot glue these there. Actually, no. I'm first going to put these to the side and I'm going to paint these. Now, you don't have to paint them. I just think maybe making them look just, just a little bit more fall-y, I guess, is the best way to put it. And if you're curious, this is what my paintbrushes thing looks like. I didn't make the box. I just have this slide on puzzle box thing and just decorated it. Because I have an art easel that holds things, but it just can't hold all of my paintbrushes. Um, I don't think it matters too much of what type of brush you use. I just might use my sponge brush so it's not going to leave a lot of like streaks, but again, it's a little thing to you. I just think I'm going to use the sun brush, and I might even use my smaller one. Or I can use this. Uh, I don't know. I'll see what works best. <laughs> and I'm going to fast forward this, but you can paint yours whatever color and how you